Hello all. Welcome to the course Azure Data Factory. So in this lecture, let us try to understand what is lookup activity actually. Okay. So before going to see that, uh, please subscribe, like and share the video. So now let us see what is lookup activity. So this is a very simple concept. So lookup activity reads and returns the content of a uh, configuration file or table actually. So you can say simply, you can fetch the data from file or a table, that's all. So if you see that, so you can fetch the data from a file or database, that means from the tables actually, by using this particular lookup activity. So this is the symbol for lookup activity actually. Okay. So now let us see how you can fetch the data. Okay. It also returns execution of a query or stored procedures. So there are many uh, options are there. So let us just try to understand. So what we will do is, uh, if you see here, uh, in the source container, we have a table called emp table.csv. This is the file. So this file data, we would like to fetch actually. So that is what there are total, eight, eight, 17 records are there by excluding the first row because it is a header. These 17 records, let us try to fetch into uh, data factory actually that means into the pipeline so for that let us try to take a new pipeline then lookup activity which is under general category take that now so as usually like any other uh, uh, activities you need to reach that particular data store right that particular file so for that you need to create a data set so let us try to create a data set so which is existed in blob storage, take that. Then it is a CSV file type, then okay, select a CSV, then select the linked service, then select the file actually. So which is in the source container and file is emp table.csv, click OK. Then first row is this header, give the file name ds underscore uh, emp file from blob so emp file so click ok to create a data set so data set is created let us just preview it uh, okay let it be let us validate first anyhow we will run it right now if i debug so let us try to debug it So refresh to fetch the data. Yes, it is successful. Now, where is the data it is fetched? You can see that in the output. See, there is a data. But you see, in the file, you have total 17 records. But you are able to see only one record in this format. So where is 17 records? Again, if you go back to the configuration, it is very important that uncheck if you want to load total data. So first row only, so uncheck this one. Then again, if I run this one, this pipeline, now you are able to see total 17 records. How and all you can see that. So it's running now. So lookup is just to fetch the data from a file or a table. Now we are seeing fetching the data from a file. So see the output part, see here, Total 17 records it is fetched. Now you can see all those records actually. Okay. So this is the way you are going to bring the data from a file. So how you can use this one? So that is what you can use that in a subsequent uh, activities actually. So in the subsequent activities, after fetching this data, you are going to use it. Okay. So the one, one activity we will take and then how to fetch this uh, data in subsequent activities, we will see. Before that, let us try to fetch the data from database also, okay? So for that, let us try to create a data set. So click on new. So now we are going to fetch the data from a SQL server. So that is what Azure SQL database, click continue. Then select the linked service, which is pointing to the SQL server. This is the linked service we already created. Okay. Then select the table. 
So now table list, it is loading. Once it is loaded, you can see all the tables here. So let us try to select uh, a table called tester. So dbo.tester. So table is selected. Now give the data set name uh, SQL server, which is pointing to the tester table. So click OK to create this data set, which is pointing to this particular table in uh, in database actually now now you see if i click on debug what is going to happen okay <clears throat> click refresh so now it is in progress see it is done so in that table actually total 14 records are there so 14 records you can see in this manner, okay? So this is the way you can fetch the data, just only one configuration that uh, either it is, uh, see now one more thing, when I select this one, database related data set, you can see the options like a, uh, in a, like in a copy activity. Suppose if I select any other uh, file type, you can see the options. So accordingly options are going to change actually. So now, Anyhow, we fetch the data from, you see, uh, we fetch the data from tester table. Then let us try to use that data in a subsequent activities. For that, what we will do is let us try to create a variable, one variable. So that is, for example, name. So here, you see, if you observe the output, this is very, very important. Uh, if you observe the file out, uh, this activity output. See, this is a JSON structured. So you need a value. Value is actually a array type object. Is it or not? So because we have a square bracket. Within square bracket, this curly brace, wherever it is closing, that is the first object, zeroth index object. That is very important because you need to navigate inside, right? Then, for example, I need this ename Smith. How you are going to fetch that? So that is very important. So let us try to take a set variable activity on completion of this one, then go here. So before that, let us try, try to remember uh, output, current output, okay? You need to go to the value. So let me take this, uh, let me copy into a notepad, then uh, we can easily refer it. So take a notepad paste it there, okay? So now you can see uh, here, come to the set variable. So select that particular variable name. Then here you need to configure, okay? So first of all, this is lookup one output. So select, just you select this one. You no need to remember any syntax. Then on top of that, that means that is going to take you to this particular, this is the data we copied from the output actually. Up to here, it is going to take you. After that, your value is in inside of this actually, your, uh, your value. That means you need to use value field actually. So dot value. Then further, because this is a array type, your object is in a zero to index. So that means value of zero you must mention. With that, it is reached up to this particular object actually. Then I need what? Ename. So just mention that after dot. So that is what? Ename. Now let us see whether this variable is going to assign that particular value that is Smith. So let us see that debug. So such a way in subsequent activities, this lookup activity outputs, you can use it actually. Okay, that is the advantage. So let us see that run. See, it is done. Now you see the set variable activities output Smith. Okay, so if I if I change, you see the second index. This is the zeroth index, first index, ln, right? So let us just uh, change the configuration little. That means it is from the first index object. So one. That means it should load ln, right? So let us just debug it.
refresh done first activity done so second is also definitely done yeah now you see Ellen. so such a way in subsequent activities you can use it so that is what actually the lookup uh, activity now if you see very very important thing is this can fetch maximum 5000 rows suppose if your type file or table have more than 5000 records then what it is going to show you first to 5000 records only it is going to show you what does it mean so here if you see uh, in the output section of lookup one it fetched 14 records because 14 is definitely less than 5000 so uh, 14 is not a problem suppose if you have 10000 records it is going to fetch only uh, 5000 only from the table okay and not only that there is another limitation which is very important whatever data you are fetching that whole size must be less than 4 mb suppose if you are fetching 5000 okay but 5000 data all together if it is more than 4 mb then it is going to fail that means uh, activity is going to get failed actually so that is very 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 important thing okay so you should be careful that data whatever you are fetching sometimes so you see every record for example if it have uh, for example one lakh records one lakh uh, characters actually not records okay so one lakh characters means 4 MB meaning is what? So 4 into 10 power 6. Okay. So that means you can maximum fetch 40 records with this length. Okay. So if it is exceeding 40, then it is exceeding 4 MB data actually. If these calculations quickly you are able to understand. Still it is not a problem. You should take care that data should not exceed its size more than 4 mb that's all if it is 4 mb it is not going to take first uh, uh, any number of characters like uh, here it is just going to fail that is very important okay of course it will throw you accordingly the error so then you need to take care further so this is what lookup activity which is going to fetch the data from a table or file and then you can use it in a subsequent activities so hope you understand lookup activity completely. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share the video.